There are some movie characters that are so over the top that it would seem impossible for them to be based on a real person. This is what happens when you a stranger in the since one of the most common devices for writers is to write what you know, it makes sense that there are so many film characters inspired by stories of real people and true events. Here are 10 crazy movie characters you didn't know were based on real people. Ben from 21. 21 is a 2008 film about a group of MIT students who use their genius math skills to win an excessive amount of cash from casinos in Las Vegas. Jim Sturgis plays the leader of the gang of brilliant mathematicians, who begins counting cards as a way to pay his tuition. Jeff Ma was the real-life inspiration for Ben. Jeff, along with his number-crunching peers, were the subject of the book Bringing Down the House, which 21 is based on. While there was controversy surrounding the casting of the film, which consisted of a mostly white cast portraying people who were Asian in real life, the film was a success. I was wondering if you would like to join me in my quarters this night for some toast. Nacho Libre. The 2006 comedy Nacho Libre stars Jack Black as a monk turned Mexican wrestler. The film is wacky and directed by Jared Hess, who also made the oddball comedy Napoleon Dynamite. Audiences may be surprised to find that it was based on a real life Catholic priest named Sergio Gutierrez Benitez, who went by the wrestling name Frey Tormenta. He spent 23 years as the masked wrestler as a way to make money for the orphanage he directed. The priest gained overwhelming support and popularity in real life. He ended his wrestling career in 2000, but dons the mask every once in a while just to entertain the children in his church. Rocky Writer, director, and star Sylvester Stallone based Rocky on real-life boxer Chuck Wepner after watching Wepner go 15 rounds with Muhammad Ali in 1975. Later, when Wepner tried to sue for a portion of the money made from the Rocky movies, Stallone stated that Wepner was not the inspiration for Rocky. So while there were many differences between the character and Wepner, like Wepner being from New Jersey rather than Philadelphia, the many similarities suggest Chuck Wepner did serve as the basis for the Italian Stallion. No ticky. No laundry. Frank Costello from The Departed. The character of Frank Costello seems somewhat unrealistic. How did a guy manage to groom a young man to become a mole for the Boston Police Department? Even more unbelievable is that he was an informant for the FBI the entire time. That could never happen, but it did. At least most of it did, to a man named Whitey Bulger. Bulger was an Irish mob boss in Boston, and managed to get away with a whole lot of criminal activities for many years. He really did have a mole in the police department, and he really was an FBI informant to keep himself out of prison. Bulger has such an interesting history that he was also the subject of the 2015 film Black Mass. Dirty Harry Clint Eastwood's iconic portrayal of the character exemplifies cool, as he goes on the hunt for a psychopathic serial killer who goes by the name of Scorpio. Scorpio is based on the similarly named Zodiac Killer, who terrorized the streets of San Francisco in the 1960s and early 70s. Dirty Harry is based on the real-life detective Dave Toshi, who is a bit of a loose cannon for the San Francisco Police Department. Do you mind if I borrowed a little of your Scott's tape, would you? His unorthodox behavior helped create not only Harry Callahan, but even inspired Steve McQueen's character in Bullet. However, it was Toshi's role in the Zodiac Killer case that inspired one of the coolest characters in cinematic history. Regan from The Exorcist Films about demonic possession have become commonplace, but back in 1973, The Exorcist introduced audiences to the absolutely horrifying tale of a little girl named Regan. The book and film are based on the exorcism of Roland Doe. Doe was a young boy living in Maryland in the 1930s. He spent his time playing with his spiritualist aunt, who introduced him to a Ouija board. The result was a claimed possession, which caused a priest to perform an exorcism on the boy and record the events. In the 1990s, a book was released stating that Roland was not actually possessed by anything supernatural, but was most likely just a disturbed boy who had suffered from abuse. The truth will never fully be known, but the story of possession sure made for one terrifying classic film. Rocky Dennis in Mask the 1985 tearjerker Mask, in which Eric Stoltz plays a teenage boy named Rocky Dennis, who suffers from lionitis, is based on a real-life boy by the same name and disorder. While the character may not be considered crazy, the emotional appeal of the film proves that reality is stranger and more compelling than fiction. Rocky's deforming disorder, also known as CDD, made his life extremely difficult, and it was nearly impossible to read or do basic activities, but he pushed through tasks and proved his teachers wrong. 
The film's heartbreaking conclusion shows Rocky's mom, Rusty, enter teenage Rocky's room to find that he has passed on. In real life, Rusty donated her son's body to the UCLA Medical Center. Norman Bates from Psycho Norman Bates is one of the most famous killers in cinematic history. Yeah. The movie was based on a book by the same name. The character was based on killer and all-around psycho Ed Gein. Gein has inspired many movie maniacs, including Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Buffalo Bill from The Silence of the Lambs. What the f lotion in the basket? While there was only proof that Gein killed two people, he spent a lot of time grave robbing and dismembering the corpses to make furniture. Just like Bates, Gein was dedicated to pleasing his mother and even created a shrine for her in her room after she died. After all, a, a boy's best friend is his mother. I am not Mr. Lebowski. You're Mr. Lebowski. I'm the dude from The Big Lebowski. The Big Lebowski has grown a cult following thanks to its endless quotable dialogue and Jeff Bridges' flawless performance as Jeff Lebowski. While the premise of the film is completely made up by the Coen brothers, his wife goes out and owes money all over town and they pee on my rug? They pee on your <laughs> rug. The character of the dude is based on a real person, Jeff Dowd. Dowd is a film producer, and the Coen brothers met him while promoting their 1984 film, Blood Simple. His appearance, style of dress, and general mannerisms fascinated the filmmakers enough that they just had to base a film character on him. Even the nickname was real, something Dowd picked up in the sixth grade that stuck with him through his entire life. Lucy from Fifty First Dates the seemingly contrived plot revolves around Adam Sandler falling in love with a woman, played by Drew Barrymore, who suffers from short-term memory loss. The story is more than just a wacky comedy premise. It is actually based on a real woman named Michelle Philpott, who suffered from two separate head injuries, resulting in irreparable brain damage causing short-term memory loss. Just like Barrymore's character, Phil Potts has woken up each morning for the past 20 years with no memory of the day before. Her husband helps her each day, but luckily she does recognize him as he was around before the accident. Hey everyone, if you liked this video, make sure that you check out our friends at The Taco YouTube channel. They've got brand new list videos for you every single day that you won't be able to stop watching. Make sure to check out their latest video, subscribe to their channel, and don't forget to tell them that Screen Rant sent you. Did we forget your favorite crazy character based on a real person? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the Screen Rant channel to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.